to grab a hold of these weights. Ugh. Ugh. And get to curling. Get to warming on up. See how we're feeling? Pretty decent back day yesterday. I don't feel like super sore or anything, but I think I can feel some some work in my traps, I think. Maybe. Mm. Kind of easing back into it after my lower back was getting a tee with that after uh, uh, one of our leg days. Was, we did a bunch of like really uh, kind of explosive <clears throat> like deadlift shrugs. And I tried to go and do more like hex bar deadlift kind of thing from a lower bar position. I think the combination of the stretch and whatnot kind of made it mad, so. Had to shake that off for like a week. <clears throat> now we can ease back into it. Keep pumping that upper back. <clears throat> but we got leg day tomorrow, so we'll see what we want to do. Maybe some front squats combined with uh, more hex bar. Not learning my lesson. <clears throat> <laughs> I think I'll probably just not do a hex bar from the low bar position. I'll just do it from the high grips. You call it good. Should be fine. Should be fine. But today I don't have to worry about all that. Bicep dress that we did back yesterday, I feel like. Like my back days are a lot of upper back. It's not really all that much bicep. And they're they're recovered enough. <laughs> enough to do some curls today. Mm. Mm. They'll be alright. <laughs> Gotta get to work anyway. Oh. I think the evening cardio make it, might contribute to like an overall level of strain, <clears throat> like the total work you're doing, but I feel like the blood flow is really nice. Helps feed the muscles a little bit. Help them rest up. Ugh. But yeah, we're doing cardio at night. It's kind of nice. Kind of nice. Hmm. <clears throat> Now I just gotta like try to get real good sleep and we'll be in business, I think. Sleep's not bad, but we could do better. Oh. It's not bad, but it could be better. Figure out, how to, like, calibrate exactly, like, the amount where you you are setting your alarm late enough so that you don't just, like, snooze for an hour. He's gonna quite enough rest, you know? But I gotta make sure I get enough stuff done in the morning. Uh, I don't want to sacrifice too much office time. So then I'm going to be slacking on the on the edits and business stuff too, right? We'll figure it out though. Oh, we'll figure it out. But I haven't been feeling like overly fatigued during the day or anything like that. So I think we're on the right track. We're getting there. What's up, Jameis? We're getting there. Mm. Just keep working hard. Keep feeling things out. Try to get that right balance. We'll kick butt. Our rep warrior is really good, yeah. I have a, I have a lot of rep warrior gameplay on my uh, my YouTube channel. Red does so much damage, but also has a great amount of utility. Nice little off heels and stuff, so. You as a warrior, I mean, like, you know, use your, use what you got to protect your teammates. And you have a lot of tools to do that. Ugh. 
And then just set up your cross CC with your teammates and blast people. But yep, yeah, definitely have some uh, some nice red warrior gameplay up there for you. But I haven't been doing a ton of threes, unfortunately. Ugh. But the threes that I have, though, uh, a lot of it's red warrior. Should you get Venthyr or stay here? You must play twos. Either one. I mean, they're both good. They're both good. I think that Venthyr might be a little better in twos in particular. But Kyrian is definitely solid. I mean, I feel like that could be my main, right? Well, that's pretty fun. I am gonna go Venthyr on my Horde Warrior, though. Let's see how that goes. Best core workouts to gain weight? So if you're trying to gain weight, it's not really about doing, it's not really about core workouts, right? It's about how much you eat. So do me a favor real quick and type exclamation mark bulk. I mean, you can definitely train your core if you want to, but gaining weight is not about training your core. Gaining weight is about eating. You gotta eat, bro. But doing exercises is great. Resistance training is great. But yeah, getting swollen working on it, man. It's gonna be a while. We achieve the swollenness we're looking for. Oh! Oh, okay. Like big workouts, like, okay, like, cool, I got you. <laughs> yep, squat, deadlift, bench, that's a great. I mean, the, the things that you see me doing on stream are what I think are good for, you know, building muscle, but it's also workouts that I enjoy. But still, you're gonna have to eat, but I'm glad that you're, you're already looking forward to getting some good training in, that's really good. But yeah, so in order to gain weight, you gotta eat. <clears throat> That's the main thing. What's my favorite class of tank for me? I mean, I don't really care. <laughs> Whoever gets the job done. I'm not doing a ton of PvE these days, so. But, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I see what you mean, Bobby. But yeah, the you know, movements that I'm doing here on stream, things like squat bench dead, those are great, but if you don't eat, you're not gonna grow, right? So we're gonna link this video for you one more time, just to make sure that you see it. Like you eat enough, you like you eat a lot, but <laughs> I, I hear what you're saying. Everybody says it. Yeah. Anybody who says that they can't gain weight says the same thing. I eat a lot, I just can't gain weight. Yeah. Everybody says the same thing. Yeah. So there's a certain amount of calories you have to eat. You have to. <laughs> If you, if you don't eat more than your body uses, you're not gonna gain weight, right? So, you don't really need a snack in between meals if you don't want to. You just need to, throughout your entire day, eat the amount of calories that you need to gain weight, or you won't gain weight. Fortunately, it's fairly simple how that works, right? But it's like, what, what do you like to eat, you know? What are some foods that you enjoy eating? And then you can use those foods to reach a surplus of calories. Yep. Exactly, Rocky. That's what we hear every day. Yeah. That's what we hear every day. And it's not like a, you know, no, you're not an idiot. You're not a failure. It's just people think that they eat a lot. It's like, that's fine. But if you're trying to gain weight and you're not gaining weight, what you're eating, even if it feels like a lot, is not enough, right? And it, enough is what matters. <sighs> what am I gonna do with all the strength I'm building? Oh, I'm just gonna get in street fights. That's the only way to really prove your strength. Strength doesn't matter unless you can street fight. Because then I'm gonna need that strength in jail with all those other guys. Who well, I'm in jail by myself, showing how tough I am. I mean, I, just, I don't know, I, I just like working out. I mean, I do compete in bodybuilding, but. I work out because I enjoy them. I enjoy the, the, the activity of working out and I enjoy how it makes me feel afterwards. I enjoy the sort of structure it provides with like, you know, just overall health and well-being in my life. But I also compete in bodybuilding, so. Strength isn't even really my main goal. But getting stronger over time is definitely a good way to build muscle. Ugh. But yeah. Mm, yeah, Archer's gonna be a beast. He already is a beast. Yeah. Oh boy. But yeah. 
for people who are trying to gain weight, it's a lot of the, it's like the same story. That they feel like they eat a ton already, but just like anybody who's trying to lose weight, the same thing. It's like once you start taking tracking your calories seriously, getting your numbers right, that's kind of where the game changes. No, kind of accept and understand that it's really a numbers game. Your body gains or loses weight depending on whether your intake is exceeding or not, you know, or maybe not reaching your caloric needs, right? Devin, thanks for talking about burden. Appreciate it, man. So the funnels are on the good side. I mean, they're going to do what they want to do. <laughs> I'm up for the story. Um, just playfully, I'm not really, a, I'm kind of anti silver on this, but we'll see. Are strong lifts a good build muscle? I mean, whatever gets you in the gym and tra helps you train hard and something that you enjoy doing makes it something you can do consistently. And you eat a uh, caloric surplus. I mean, that could be fine, yeah. But like we've been saying this whole time, if you don't eat enough, you're not gonna grow. You know? But sure. Whatever, whatever gets you doing more than you were doing before, I mean, it'll probably help you build muscle, right? Progressive overload, sufficient volume, and all that, you know. That's important too. But yeah, you can lift whatever you want, and if you don't eat enough, you're not gonna grow, right? We talk about nutrition a lot here, because it's, it's really the thing that changes the game. It really does. And the earlier you kind of start doing the basic work of tracking your food and making sure you're working towards your goals by adjusting your calories accordingly, you know, the better off you're going to be. Because that takes a little bit of practice, it takes a little bit of trial and error too. But once you start locking it in, you're going to start making changes, which is good. Oh, oh, got to get warmed up. But I don't know the ins and outs of strong lifts, but it's, it's a lot of it sort of fits that model. It's like, are you training consistently? Are you incorporating progressive overload, sufficient volume? Are you having fun? You know, do you enjoy that kind of training? So you're excited to go to the gym and keep going? Infuse some passion into that kind of training? If so, I mean, are we good to go? <laughs> the pilot think it's life, there you go. There you go. <clears throat> My uh, sister and brother-in-law are big powerlifters. Yeah. I'm not as much into the powerlifting side of things as bodybuilding, but I certainly respect it. That's awesome, Diabolic. That's super cool. I guess I know you stay focused on answering and training, but I've been doing it for a while. Maybe I'm just not focused. <laughs> but I've been doing it. I've been training for a while, I've been streaming for a while, so. Nope. How important is UI when it comes to climbing an arena? I mean, I think that having information presented to you in a way that you can actually see it and make use of it is important. But I think the, the, the UI sort of needs to be paired with a, a general understanding of the game and like, you know, you need to have an idea of how to use that information, right? What's up, what's up? Hello there. Because if you have all this information presented to you but you don't like take it in or you don't like, you know, know, know how to make use of it, then that's not necessarily super helpful, but having a UI that makes sense to you is good. That's a big list, man. Some big old lifts. Way to work. Beast mode. Yeah. Building muscle makes it easier to move them arms around, you know? Yep. I think most is a strong word, Devin. Who else, who else is really a bodybuilder out there? <laughs> I 
I mean, it depends on, it depends on how you eat bodybuilding, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot of people who are making games who are active, but I don't know about most. I think most is a <laughs> pretty, <laughs> pretty strong word. <laughs> yeah. There are definitely some, some fellow WoW bros about their games, that's for sure. <laughs> Which is awesome. I love it. I love it. Uh, I love it. Mm. Oh. And just old man Jira. Continuing to pump. <sighs> no, I think we're doing pretty good. I give myself a hard time from time to time, but I think we're doing pretty good. All things considered, we've got a lot of room to grow and to improve. Favorite exercise is whatever I'm doing that day, man. Whatever I'm doing that day, I love it. I love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, today I love training arms and shoulders. Tomorrow, ooh, I love leg day. Oh. <laughs> what do you think about swimming, horse riding, and throwing projectiles? <laughs> what? That's not what I spend most of my time doing, but I mean. I can see someone enjoying those activities. <laughs> what do you think about throwing projectiles? It'd be fun. It'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah, a, a guide would be, would prefer it'd be fun, yeah. I, I'm doing mostly dumbbell press right now. Yeah. If I add those to my background, I'll be Iron Man. I don't know. Not sure if those really are going to be contributing to my goals in a meaningful way. But, um, maybe, maybe. Right now, cardio out of dinner, I'm probably eating about 4,500 calories a day right now. I had a little bit of cardio to, to be able to comfortably eat a little bit more. 4,500 a day is going to be where we're at right now. Do not stop. We're gonna keep pumping, man. We've been, I've been in the gym regularly since I was like 12, and I'm 31 now. And we've kind of just only continued to progress since then, so. Yes, sir. I love it, man, I love it. Don't stop to you break your arms. Oh, yeah, we're gonna try to not do that. <laughs> Ugh. 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 We're gonna get a nice little pump, but. I don't think we'll be breaking my arms. We don't, we don't want to do that. Because then it makes it really hard to train the next day if your arms are broken. You know what I mean? So. What do you mean by that in more time? 20 anniversary in the gym? Well, I, don't, I mean, I don't think so. Well, this is my, maybe, maybe 20 years will be another competition season though. What advice did you give for someone new to work out? Watch the videos, watch my stream, understand the nutrition video. Do that. It's a great place to start. Understanding some of the basics. But yeah, train in a way that you enjoy so that it makes it something that you're excited to do and excited to progress in. But well, watching the videos and the screens and uh, basic nutrition videos, that helps a lot, man. A couple of those little pieces of advice would be good. Yeah, if you're trying to find a way that you enjoy it, something you're excited about, it's gonna make a lot, a lot of fun.
Maybe. Have to get a very particular angle. Uh, maybe. So you guys are welcome to guess at the gym price. Your guess is as good as mine. Is insulin worth trying to manipulate a diet? I mean, if you're like diabetic, you need to pay attention to that. If you're not diabetic, then no. No. I think you told me about that, Duff. That sucks, man. About tree fitting? Yeah, something like that. It's well worth it though. But I'm grateful we were able to do it. That is for sure. That is for sure. <clears throat> I mean, you just follow along, Madre? Shadow, dude, Shadowlands is pumped, man. Shadowlands is awesome. But yeah, if you're not feeling it, no worries. We're glad to have you. Thanks for following along. You're definitely welcome to sub if you enjoy the content. That'd be great. Back, I mean, yes, there was my back workout. Today is gonna be biceps, right? Oh! Yep. Yup. Oh! Just curious? Yeah, so what I'm saying is like, you can check out my back workouts on Twitch or the VODs as well, because it's a different stuff, like, you know, pull-ups, rows, deadlifts, rack pulls, shrugs, all kinds of fun stuff. Some of the, those are some of the big ones, though. Eventually for the games channel, I'd like to get some like edited workouts for you guys, but right now it's just kind of a bunch of gym, just like the full gym streams. Oh, oh. And you, you can curl that squat rack if you want to. Certainly can. Thanks, Duff. We got Garthar. Appreciate it, man. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna have some unique challenges ahead of you. You got this, man. I believe in you for what it's worth. Uh, uh. Ooh. Uh. Ooh. I mean, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with curling the squat rack. I think, I think the issue would be if you're at a public gym and somebody's trying to squat and you're curling there instead of letting somebody squat. I think that's kind of where the problem comes in, but <laughs> it's your own damn gym. You can do what you want to do. <clears throat> Thank you, though, Doug. <laughs> I don't play where you take now. Play DPS. Slam people in PvP. Shred. That's my warrior gameplay. No. Yeah, I mean, I, that, I think that's where the issue comes from is people taking up a squat rack instead of doing, you know, doing squats or doing something else. I think that's where they should come in, but, you know. You sure do your own gym. I don't do a lot of barbell bicep curl thingies. Maybe I should, though. But I feel like it makes my, doesn't feel as good on my shoulders. Not my shoulders, my, uh, my elbows. They are light. <laughs> I'm trying to get warmed up. But yeah, these are still pretty light. Ugh. Ugh. Just waking up and warming up. Go, thanks for the five months, man. Mara, I don't think those things are exclusive at all, right? You have any tips for growing biceps for lifters with long arms? I mean, train your biceps. I don't know if the long arms really have anything to do with it. Train your biceps, brother. It's like, give me tips for a bicep builder for guys with brown hair. Just like. <laughs> Just like Do your curls, bro. Sure thing, White Knight. Peace, peace. What's up, what's up? If you're working out and it's hurting, that's a stop and keep going through it. Well, times I'm kind of hurt, right? Like if you're doing curls and you're like, ooh, my biceps are burning. You know? 
You can be like, ooh, that was a good set. Stop for a second, and then do it again. That's kind of the idea. I mean, if you got long arms, then you probably got long bicep insertions. I mean, you can build a lot of freaking muscle on that bicep. Blood man, thanks for the 22 months, man. Appreciate it. I'm just letting you know it ain't really gonna hold you back, right? But you gotta eat. Rest of my workout. Uh, X-Men Mark subs. Link to that bulk video too. Get that food in you. And the subs right there. I never have tried that one off the top. It's got long arms, got long bicep insertions. Big old, big old, big old weedy muscle on that arm. pull-ups, but I mean, I'll do like, uh, do like, uh, straight-up pull-down thingies. Yeah. <clears throat> Something like that. Yeah, it's, it's just more time in a deficit. That's how it works. My playlist is pretty much just berserk on YouTube. More time in a deficit, taste. That's how it works. Has T boosting stuff. No, there's not going to be any kind of meaningful testosterone fluctuation from a natural supplement like a pre workout. <clears throat> so I wouldn't worry about it. If you like your pre workout, take it. But like testosterone boosting is not going to be like a, a big thing in like a, in a natural supplement, right? Even like testosterone boosters, those can be like have like herbal things in there which might make you feel good and could contribute positively to your health, but it's not gonna have a big impact on your testosterone. Just so you know. So that if that makes you shy away from it, it's not gonna not gonna do anything really. No, Jay, that's no. Uh, Jay, if you're new here, uh, advocating for illegal drug use is not gonna be it's not gonna be a thing, okay? Just just so you know. Just so you know. Not doing that one. Oh boy. We'll hold off on that. Oh. There we go. Oh. But yeah. I mean, people can do what they want. And we get into that discussion fairly regularly, but it's just not something I recommend to my peeps. Oh. I mean, once again, it's kind of gone. Don't be recommending TRT to people when they don't need it, right? <laughs> oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. Don't play around with your hormones. Just get to work in the gym and, and in the with your diet and get some good rest. <clears throat> let that let that be the core of it all. Yeah, I like the. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't worry about it too much. I mean, does that pre workout also give you skin tearing pumps? Because there's a lot of them that promise that too, right? 
Oh, Catagon, I mean, if you go to the doctor wanting to hop on testosterone, they will give you on testosterone. It doesn't matter what your testosterone levels are. If you go to, if you go to an anti-aging clinic, and they're like, guys, I'm a little tired, you know? They're like, we got you, bro. Ugh. Ugh. So, uh, don't be, don't be recommending people do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, doctors just just write write prescriptions. I say, like, give me that. <laughs> you feel a little tired? Feel a little low energy? Are you a male? <laughs> oh, uh, do I have the thing for you? I will happily shut down your testosterone production for the rest of your life, <laughs> and you will be feeding me that that moolah. You know? Category, I, I mean, maybe not everybody, but if you want to hop on TRT, you're, I mean, it's not going to be real hard to do that. Because you don't have to go to a doctor. You know, you can go to an anti, you know, anti-aging clinic, you know? Now, I don't know the ins and outs of it, but that's my understanding, is that if you want to find somebody to write you a prescription, you're going to find somebody, right? Oh. 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 But this guy was saying he doesn't want his pre-workout to mess with his testosterone. And so what I'm telling you is your pre-workout probably is not going to mess with your testosterone. Right? Oh. Oh. But what you didn't say is, if you're struggling with your testosterone health, you can get help with that. You're like, hop on some TRT. <laughs> and then it's like, yeah, you can. But once again, if you feel like you're struggling, you know, what you can do is take better care of your diet, your training, and your, your sleep, and see if that doesn't help first, right? Because I feel, in my completely non-doctor opinion, that low testosterone can be a symptom of not taking care of yourself rather than the reason why you feel that, right? No, it was the opposite. He didn't want his pre-workout to mess with him health-wise. He likes the pre-workout, but he was worried that the testosterone boosting effect could be something that's negative to his health. And I'm telling you, generally, a supplement that says it's gonna boost your testosterone won't in a meaningful way, right? Pre-work is mostly stimulant, maybe a little bit of pump. So, yeah. Yeah, chances are you don't need to hop on TRT. So, just for example, the only time I've ever had my testosterone checked was after my, uh, I went for, in in for like a, a checkup after my um, bodybuilding season wrapped up. Because I wanted to make sure I was doing okay, because I was feeling rough. I mean, like eight months of dieting made me feel rough. Um, and my testosterone was like 428, which is on the lower end of normal. But what I bet is that after getting my food and training and sleep back in order, yeah, I, bet, I bet that it's come up since then. That I would imagine my understanding, once again, I'm not a doctor, so I could just be making stuff up, but. I'm pretty sure that your hormones like reflect, you know, oh, there's, like a, there's like, a, like a lot of other things like a health marker, right? So if you're not taking care of yourself with your diet, your exercise, or your training, your, your levels, your health markers are probably not going to be looking as great, right? But if you start training well, exercise, or sorry, exercising well, and eating well, and sleeping well, I bet it's going to bump up a lot of health markers, including your, your hormones like testosterone. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, now I understand like how it's supposed to work, Category. Like, that's what you're describing. But what I'm saying is people just thinking like, I'm a little tired, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'm probably low T. Like, I work out a lot. Or maybe I don't work out all that much. And I don't, I don't really pay attention to my diet or rest, but I'm not making any gains. I think I'm low T. I'm gonna go find a doctor and get me some testosterone. <laughs> you know, like, I think that's what I wanna avoid, right? You, you just saying that testosterone therapy exists is like, sure, 
It does, sure. But what I'm saying is, don't have that be the first thing that springs to your mind when you're not making games. You know, if you're saying so much for 15 months where you don't feel good, right? Because also keep in mind that once you start doing that, you're not going to make any testosterone anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Right, but you're, what you're saying is you're coming off the tail end of, you know, somebody saying, hop on tea. <laughs> and somebody just talking about worrying about whether or not their, their pre-workout's going to mess with their health. Ugh. So it was, it was, I guess, the context of what you were dropping in. But yeah, I mean, if your body's not producing testosterone and you need some help, go for it. But if your body is producing testosterone and you just want to boost it, then you're probably going to fuck your normal, healthy testosterone production for the rest of your life. And you're going to be taking those drugs forever, you know? So just keep that in mind. Oh, oh, ooh. Thank you, dudes, for the reason and power, man, carrying a squad today. Look at you. Thank you. Mm. Oh. intense name. Are we switching over from talking about the general situation of TRT to now I'm on drugs? Is that what we're doing? <laughs> I think so. <clears throat> I wonder. <clears throat> you tried to mess with me before, judging by your chat log there, so maybe that's what you're trying to do. Just be careful. Sometimes it's hard to tell whether you're uh, kidding or not in the, uh, just by text. Mm. And a new badge. Let's go, dudes. Thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. That, that's what I hear a lot on the stream, Catagon. Is young people just being like, I've been training for two years now. I think I've reached my natural limit. <laughs> it's like, oh, God. <laughs> I eat so much, but I can't gain weight. Oh, uh, dear. That, that's what I hear a lot, unfortunately. What you're saying, I understand. It's just, in the context, it didn't really quite make sense, right? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you're, yeah, you're really gonna mess yourself up if you tell your body to stop producing testosterone. For sure. Uh, uh, You're, you train for five years and you're 20? See, that, that's what like breaks my heart, Jay. That's what breaks my heart. If, you fit, if you're 15 years old and, you're, and then you train for five years and you're 20, you haven't trained for five years. Like you haven't even, you're not even an adult yet, man. <laughs> at 20, you're still, you're still like, you're still really young. You're gonna fuck your hormones for the rest of your life playing around with that kind of stuff. I don't recommend it, man. Strongly recommend that you don't do that. From 15 to 20 is not training for five years. Like, good job, but doesn't, I mean, and it counts, but in terms of like, making decisions about your hormones for the rest of your life, no. You're not even done growing, man. You're telling your body at a very, very important time to stop producing testosterone for the rest of your life. <clears throat> you're a, yeah, you're a baby, no offense. But yeah, what you're doing right now is can fuck your entire rest of your life. So stop playing around with that shit and just focus on training and eating. You have to eat enough food. If you want to be this big jack motherfucker, eat food. Don't take drugs. You're, you're really fucking your life up, man. Let me, let me tell you. It's, it's not good. I've seen so many people who make decisions like that and then fall off and then they're fucked for the rest of their life. Just train, man. I've never taken any of that stuff. Don't plan to. No, I don't. You know that. Oh. Mm. If you tell your body to stop producing testosterone when you're 20 years old, you're fucked. 102 months. Oh my God. Thank you so much, man. What a beast. Oh, 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 oh,
a long time. Oh, oh. oh. I'm very passionate about this topic because I really don't want my young peeps. I want my young peeps out there to be trained and fall in love with the process and understanding the basics. It's got to be at least two years. So they will. Yeah. I'm glad that you're still healthy, Jay. You cut that shit out right now. Yeah. You really can hurt yourself. And if you haven't yet, that's great. Don't mess around with it. Just train naturally and eat food. If you want to get big, eat food. But, but that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Is my, my, my young budding lifters playing around with that kind of stuff and just messing up their whole life? That sucks. That sucks. Don't do that, man. Trust me, dude. The natural path is a lot of fun. You just gotta eat. <laughs> and you'll crush enhanced athletes if you just put in the work, man. There are these, there are these guys on the juice. Dust them. Oh, and you're gonna be able to train and enjoy it forever, you know? Uh, but if you put yourself in a bad spot playing around your hormones and wrecking your your organs and stuff as a young person, it's not worth it, man. It's gonna be real sad.
That's great, but uh, you got a lot of room to improve, man. Yeah. 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 You can drop all that drugs and just get to work naturally, man. You got this. Yep. Yeah. Mm, I mean, it's every day, can I go? <laughs> it's every day. And if you're and if you're planning to compete, just compete with natural organizations that, that let you. Some of them don't let you if you've ever taken stuff, but. you know, seven or eight is because in 2013, that's where my sort of, my focus shifted to bodybuilding, but what really changed was my food. I started tracking my intake, maintaining a surplus to grow, maintaining a deficit to lose fat, and the, the food is what changed the game. That's why I talk about it every day, all day long. I mean, if you wanna feel like you're on the juice, I mean, you know, you know how you felt playing around with that stuff. Start eating 700 grams of carbs a day and tell me which one makes you feel stronger. <clears throat> yeah, you don't need to think about BDs at all. You need to quit messing with that stuff and hopefully let your body be healthy and eat. But yeah, if you, wanna feel, if you don't know what it feels like to feel pumped and strong, eat 700 grams of carbs a day. You'll probably feel better than when you're messing around with whatever little um, compounds you're playing with, with those arms or whatever. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what it feels like to be on drugs, but I, I mean, <laughs> 700 grams of carbs makes me feel pretty good. Oh. Yeah, I, just, I definitely want to look out for my young people. I want, want you to make good decisions that set you up for success long term, right? Give you options. And people come up with all different reasons why they want to do that kind of stuff, right? They want to be a pro bodybuilder or whatever. Never competed before, but they're just going to hop on the juice because they want to go pro in bodybuilding, right? Or whatever. They want to make your, they want to make it their career. It's fine, but you don't need drugs to be competitive. You know, you can learn whether or not you got what it takes by competing naturally. <clears throat> and you can also build plenty of social media following naturally too, right? Not, none of this stuff requires drugs, except for maybe being a tip-top Mr. Olympia IPV Pro. But they even have natural Olympia now, so. But yeah, exactly, like, for me, I mean, I wanna be lifting weights till I'm 180 years old, you know? I wanna be kicking ass this entire time, so. I understand that staying natural, keeping my body healthy, and learning how to build and work is what matters. And I enjoy the work more than I have this particular idea of a certain physique in mind anyway, but what I'm eating right now, a lot of rice and beans, some actual corn in there too, it's kind of southwestern these days, it's good. Real gains like one, two years of quality training for like a couple pounds, yeah, yeah. Instagram doesn't help, I mean, Instagram definitely can help if you're trying to make a career off of, you know, Social media physique, right? It's a good platform, but I think I know what you mean. Yeah. I think I know what you mean. Ugh. I think weights are boring. Yeah, just find yeah, just find some kind of activity that you enjoy. Yeah. A lot of fake natural lifters. Yeah, I don't know. If somebody says they're natural, I figure they're natural. You know, it's like whatever for the most part. I just don't, I don't really know why you'd lie about it, besides like if you're just trying to drum up, you know, um, interaction in your comment section, people fussing about you. 
I mean, honestly, the, the whole fake nanny thing, people say that I'm on drugs. So I think people have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> Pro so my shoulders, the problem is they're just weak. My left shoulder is just weird. My left arm is just weird. Doesn't activate quite right, but we'll keep working on it. But if people say that I'm on, on drugs, they have no idea what they're talking about. <laughs> so, I don't really worry about it. If people say they're natural, then I believe it, you know? Uh, yeah, I mean, Simeon has a pretty gnarly physique. I don't follow him super closely, but, I mean, if, it's, if he says he's natural, then I, I believe it. Just a beast. Real aesthetic physique takes good pictures, you know? Stays lean, I mean, I believe it. Sure. I think you can achieve way more than most people think, naturally. <laughs> uh, uh, so. Can I run my shoulder now? Maybe someday. Maybe someday. Now, I mean, I also don't really care that much, but. Staying simply throughout the year and building muscle? I mean, so, hey, certain people, certain people's bodies are just, you know, pretty, uh, pretty awesome, man. Some people can do that. When you, when you dial in your, your diet, and you put yourself in a very small surplus, and continue to train hard, you're not gonna gain a whole lot of body fat, right? He might just have it dialed in, man. He might. And if that's what he says, then I mean, I'm inclined to believe him. Let me do a couple of weird else. I mean, once again, I don't, I'm not really personally invested in whether he's natural or not, but if he says so, that's just an inspiration to me, man. <clears throat> you know? That's that's an inspiration to me. If this guy's, I mean, if this guy's able to get the job done, then you know what's stopping me? And I think that it is kind of fun, personally, to outwork people who are trying to take shortcuts and look better, right? Be bigger and stronger. I think it's kind of fun. It's not always going to happen, but it is kind of fun. Oh. Because in a lot of the in a lot of the competitions I've done, I have beaten enhanced athletes, right? Either people that have gotten disqualified, or people that I just you know know are taking stuff and you still beat them. It's, it's kind of a uh, it's kind of fun. It's kind of sad. Because they're really putting their body at risk to look worse than they could naturally, you know? But, you know, from a competitive standpoint, it's fun to win against people who are, you know, have an advantage. You know, work, you know? Oh. Let the discipline and the passion be the things that you know, carve out the victory rather than this extra little ingredient. Ugh. The best analogy that I usually think of is, you know, a foot race versus a bike race, right? You know, the natural path is just running, it's on foot, you know? Racing on foot, and the enhanced path is just a different sport, but similar. But it's just right here, you know, it's a bicycle, right? It's hilarious when you can outrun somebody on a bicycle. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's not usually what happens, but it's kind of funny. And it feels good.
That's fine, big heart. If you want to do something else, you could. You want to dig some trenches? Go for it. <laughs> do it. There you go. Yeah. All right. I mean, you. So Jay, as a young person, I understand what you're saying. But putting like, if I just had this, then it, then it would be better. Like that attitude will definitely hold you back, right? If I just had my own home gym, I'd be way more motivated, you know? If I, if I just, you know, if I just had this instead, things would be better. It's like, motivation, first of all, is not, this is kind of a luxury, but you gotta quit putting things in, uh, like, let, letting things be like a mental barrier for you, you know? If I just had this, it'd be easier, you know? When you eat 700 grams of garbage, it's hard to stay lean. Um, with, the, with the amount of activity that I have right now, uh, no. But I, I will gain some body fat for sure over time. But once again, it's, it's just determined by your total intake and output of energy, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it, it might be easier to think of where you're gonna get shit done or not, you know? <laughs> For sure, yeah. But are you gonna get the work done or not? You know, that's kind of the that's kind of the thing. This this if only mindset, I feel like it can uh, definitely hold you back. Oh, your wrists? These things aren't gonna hurt my wrist. Need research on more nutrition? Exclamation mark nutrition is a video right there. Check that out. Check out that video real quick. Exclamation mark nutrition is a great place to start. Gotta pay the bills, yep. Gotta get them gains too. I feel you, man. I mean, I feel like I never have enough time to do everything I wanna do, but just gotta get the work done the best you can, right? Stream elements put in the chat. Yep. That's where it all begins, man. That's where it all begins. I wouldn't really call this my max, it's just the heaviest that I have. But I, I'm gonna do a lot of reps with it. But if I needed more, I figured if I needed more weight, I'd just go to the barbell. Exclamation mark sub, so looking for you. We have a lot of these sort of frequently. Ask questions and commands in the title of the stream, by the way. You can check those out if you want to. But yeah, that's where it all begins, my friend. That's where it all begins. Everybody should take a second to watch that nutrition video. Give us your take, no, not on the weekends. Uh, weekends are uh, family time and days where I get to hang out with Archer all day, and sometimes Jenny gets to get some work done on her projects and stuff too, so. Not on the weekends. That's okay. We still get to get these. Still get to get these games in the morning and hang out a little bit and get some power flowing. The day thanks for follow as well. Basic dietary information is the the foundation of it all. But yeah, finding a way that works for you is good. But if you understand what matters and what doesn't, then hopefully you can make those decisions a little bit better. 
No. Mm. Been watching you since I started working out, like five years? Yeah, it's great. We'll keep pumping, man. We'll keep pumping. We just gotta get you doing the right stuff. Mm. Oh. Uh, I like the hoodie because it's warm. I don't like to be cold when I work out. I generally prefer a lower bar squat. Generally. And Mero Nemo, thank you so much for the prime with the nine months big flex for you. Yeah, if you guys are on the stream, love to have that sub. It'd be great. Appreciate it. <clears throat> right, but base, I don't know if you've ever watched my nutrition video, but as a nutrition person, you can maybe take a look at it and see what you think. Because my nutrition video isn't, this is what I'm eating, what you should do. This is the basics of tracking your intake to maintain a deficit or surplus. Well, you know, further divided into macronutrients a little bit, right? So, if you've never seen that, you can take a look. It's just so you know what I'm telling people to look at. Because that's what matters, right? Getting your calories right, further divided into macronutrients a little bit, understanding what's important, and then being able to do what you want, Ex you know, what expression of that kind of diet makes sense to you. That's what I recommend. See these rear delts he's going. Thank you, Baja, for the fresh sub, man. Glad to have you aboard. It means a lot, man. Make sure you guys hit with the flex in the chat. Show them some love. Power them up for powering us up today. Thank you, man. Oh, glad to have you. And we're here every day, guys, so if you enjoy the stream, make sure you follow. Love to have you guys hanging out. for you as well. Put your traps right away. Yeah, pull your traps down. Like this thing right here, you're gonna do this for every movement. Back, get your chest out, chest, bench, get your chest out, shoulders, get your chest out. But yeah, pull your traps down. This thing too. Yeah. My friend recommended you and helped you too within two minutes. Excellent, glad to do it, man. Glad to have you too. I'm, I really love this stuff, so. Happy to help, man. Oh, I'm happy to have you hanging out. Oh. But that's the fun part about diet, man, is that it is really basic. Oh. Unfortunately, there's a lot of BS out there that really confuses what matters. But tracking your intake, maintaining a surplus if you're trying to gain weight, maintaining a deficit if you're trying to lose weight, you know, getting the right amount of protein, you know. <sighs> And then getting enough fat and then playing around with carbohydrates, that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> Sufficient protein and fat and then carbs, depending on how much energy you need. Sawyer. 
We're talking about Archer? <laughs> yeah, no cereal. I'm off the cereal. Off the cereal. Uh, I don't really eat fast food, no. I mean, we just been. The lockdown has been really good for my diet. <laughs> Who influences my workouts? What do you mean? How do you mean? So my place? Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome, Coffee Tron. Have some fun. Yeah. Muscle memory is a real thing. It doesn't take as long to regain muscle. Oh. That's like the game in the first place. Uh, plant base has been making me feel great. But it's not entirely plant based, but it's like. That's not some dairy, right? But it's great so far. Ugh. No, I just do my own thing. And wall. I mean, I've learned a lot from a lot of different people, but I don't have a coach or anything. Woo! I mean, yeah, I really enjoy those bodybuilding motivation videos, but. Um, like, I don't do that hair workout necessarily. But yeah, I mean. That's definitely some inspirational people out there, for sure. With their intensity and their epic. Uh, so the training that I do kind of comes from what I think is important for me to train and what I enjoy doing and the equipment I have, right? Uh, it's a combination of all those things. muscle mass. I mean, that's kind of tough if you're, if you've been lifting for a while, it's tough to lose fat and build muscle at the same time. <sighs> My play base just feels good. I like it. But yeah, it's hard to do both at the same time. But I mean, like, if you're new to lifting, then eat in a small deficit and just train like an animal. Let's see how it goes. And I know, try to progressive overload with sufficient volume. You just do that in a deficit. <laughs> you know? And if those words don't make sense, you watch the fat loss video right there. Don't work out routine. I, I stream my training in its entirety every day. It's not all like on the screen always. Like days like today, with arms and shoulders, we're just, just pumping, man. Just kind of just going through the rotation and pumping. But if you watch like 10, 15 minutes, you'll get an idea of all the exercises I do. Oh. But days like today, I don't really track my stuff. Little Sunday fun day, arms and shoulders fun. Switch it up. Oh, good looking, big. Thanks so much for the two months, man. Big flex for you. I appreciate it, man. Thank you, dude.
Mm. That's kind of a way that my recovery kind of makes sense and the training days feel good. Uh, mm. Kind of helps address weak points because I think my arms and shoulders need their own day. I train every day, Keith. So these gym streams are an everyday thing for us here. And then on weekdays, I uh, stream games afterwards. You do legs over two days? Interesting. Do you dress your chest? Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a big fan of bench pressing. You can do be doing a lot of push-ups too. But yeah, I'd say my chest is like a relatively strong. Your heart's like a 215, what, for a bench? Eat more. <laughs> I think my chest is a relatively strong part of my physique. I gotta get my upper chest going though. 200 push-ups, I mean, that's that's great, but I was doing 200 push-ups when I was like 12, 11, so gotta pick it up. To be fair, wherever you are, just continue to try to get better. But I think my chest is okay. My shoulders and arms need to get better. And my back needs to build thickness, but I mean, my chest is okay. Upper chest could be better. But yeah, we'll keep pumping, man. Definitely done a lot of bench pressing in my day. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go pee real quick and we'll keep pumping, all right? I'll be right back, team. Thanks for watching so far today. Appreciate the vibes. And the sun needs some power ups. Very real quick, we'll keep pumping. Thanks for watching, guys. train regularly, you're not going to just atrophy, right? <clears throat> yeah, we did We did uh, decide to not go for rank one that season. And instead got rank one at bodybuilding. Could have pushed for rank one that season, but... You know, you know me. Sometimes I focus, you know, on my particular goals with a lot of passion. That, that's what we decided to go for then. We were also working on getting Archer going at that time, which is pretty interesting. Been pumping, been pumping. Mm. But yup, 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 yup. Trying to, trying to do a good job at a lot of different things, man. Trying. And your guys' support during those goals is tremendous. So, so important, so impactful to me and my family, so thank you guys for that. Tuning in and, and, and you know, encouraging me and supporting the content and powering us up with the subs and the same power, man. It makes such a big difference. So, let's keep working together, man. It makes me happy here that sometimes you guys get some good vibes from this stuff too, so. That's what I like. We'll keep working hard together. We'll keep pumping these shoulders too. Pumping these here shoulders. I'm gonna get these uh, elbow sleeves on. Uh, just to keep my elbows warm while we're hitting these, uh, hitting these fitties. Yep. Yeah, I think we'll be playing Tarkov this next week, I bet. Me and Josh, uh, OG, are gonna definitely get some Tarkov in together. That'll be really fun. Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, it's not, that, that's what a protein supplement's for there, and nothing wrong with that, getting some protein in. If you're not getting enough, yeah. Yep, same with the supplements, sure, that's fine. Protein is, I mean, just protein. 
protein, protein supplements are just more like food anyway. Sammy, so, thanks for the prime, man. Perfect love. Uh, I will say there's nothing really wrong with supplements, but yeah, if you want to say, wait, no, no worries. Oh, yeah, new will be fun too, for sure. I think that he's going to be playing that too. That'll be fun. Uh, get used to gaming together and then new world it up together be fun. <sighs> we played before, it was fun. You can check out my YouTube channel for some of the gameplay.
keep working on. I'm having fun at least. Oh. I'm having fun getting work on. Shoulders and arms. <laughs> Legs could grow too. I mean, everything, everything can progress. Let's keep working, man. Yeah, I think my arms and shoulders are like the areas that need like the most work. But I mean, let's keep, keep trying to get better at everything, you know? Shups. Hit some shups. Probably like around my stomach and arms and stuff. You know. Like this area right here, probably. What's the where the fat goes? Seems to say that leans around. But not eat all that much, you know? But eat the right amount, I should say, right? But yeah. Staying real shredded year round is really good for the gram. You know? Really good for the gram. But, you know, I feel like for me, making some gains is gonna take some time to surplus. Maintain them at 2400? Yeah, he's not a real big guy, but that's still pretty low calories. But, I mean, if, if he's got it real dialed in where that gives him enough energy for his day and to train hard and look at what he wants to look, power to him, man. Power to him. I'm, the, I'm not hating. I just love it, Joe Dirt. I love training. 
really enjoy the process. Well, I like the way it feels while I'm doing it. I like the way I feel afterwards. And then, of course, you know, I do have bodybuilding goals too, but. Uh... But mostly, I mean, I just train to love it. I mean, it seems like his main priority is, you know, his social media presence, right? Look in a certain way that's eye catching, being real mean. Yeah. And that's what it's working for him, man. You gotta train and diet according to your goals, you know? And if you're trying to have a strong social media presence for bodybuilding and aesthetics, I mean, you wanna be lean for that. Oh. Appreciate you being here, mind me. Thanks, man. Oh. <sighs> That's good. Oh, man. Oh, I'm getting to a certain level of fatigue that feels real nice. Woo. Woo. Yeah, my, my lifter bros, Sony and Zara, those guys stay pretty lean year round. Definitely admiring. For sure. Just different goals, you know? Yeah, those guys are always looking sharp. Drop sets today? Um, probably not. Generally, I try to go up. Oh, up to my max? Uh, infrequently. But yeah, somebody asked about max. There's exclamation mark stats. We'll link that for you. similar rotation of lifts. I just try to progress on them, you know? Oh, try to get better over time. Good slam, good. Get them gains in. Do it. That's what's up. Woo I'll keep pumping as well. Oh. Keep going through our rotation here. Yeah, you guys might not have access to all the same equipment, but you certainly can try to get your workout in while well, we're here together. Go for it. Uh, sounds good to me. Oh. I'll meet up and get our games in for the day. Signature series is what I use. 
exclamation mark sub to link you my video, but this is very inexpensive, like well dosed, good ingredient stuff with not, no fillers or anything like that. It's bodybuilding.com did have a brand, so it's pretty cheap in terms of the price. In terms of the quality, it's really good. But there's not a lot of weird stuff in it. It's got very simple, straightforward ingredients that are good. Yeah. That's what I like. Would recommend. Woo! All right. Let's keep pumping, but yeah, exclamation mark sub to link in my video. That goes over what I use, when and why. And if you use that exclamation mark BB link, then you'll support us with your purchase at bodybuilding.com, which is great. A nice free way to support the channel, if you're interested in that. Keep pumping these showies. Thanks, man. Yeah, just make that just make that link right there, that go to bodybuilding.com. Just make that your bodybuilding.com bookmark in your little toolbar there, your bookmarks bar. That way you don't have to remember to come back here and get it every time. But if you do forget, it's on like, you know, it's on the stream, it's on my YouTube videos and stuff, so. Oh, I'm good to go. Here we go. Run out of protein and order for like, Yeah, just make that make that link right there. Your your uh, your bookmark and your bookmarks bar. And every time you order something from there, you'll support their purchase. So thanks, man. Games and games, baby. 
That's how we do it. One of my jeans are you sure? Yeah, give him a follow too. Yeah. Give him a follow too. He's on the grind as well. Woo! Following the path, baby. Woo! <laughs> Every chance he gets. Big inspiration, bro. I appreciate that. <laughs> He's kicking ass, though. He's doing his thing. I appreciate that. Woo! Always good to see my buddies getting after and doing their thing, man. That's what's up. Woo! Love to see it. Uh, but what do you mean about his Instagram? Is it popping off? Hope so. He's he's work hard. He works hard. He's he's one of those guys that answers every comment and I'm drunk to drive up uh, engagement. So gotta respect the grind, man. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. oh. And his uh his uh. Girlfriend is a uh, is an artist, so it looks like they get a lot of really cool like photographs together and stuff. A lot of looking off, you know, thoughtfully into the distance and writing some some cool uh, descriptions and stuff. He's doing it what it takes, man. Respect it. Respect it. Oh. And like I said, he stays lean for the gram. He's aesthetic little rascal. Oh man, I'd love to see it. Uh, uh, he's doing it. Uh, so if you're not following him already, do it. Oh, oh my goodness. Ah, uh, bummer. Lower back side is definitely a pain. I made my lower back a little bit mad at me the other day, so I had to let that cool off for the week, but we're, we're doing good now. We're doing good. Oh. oh yeah, when we're uh, when it's summertime, we will not be wearing quite as many layers. <laughs> Maybe we'll even get a few shirtless workout streams. <laughs> See about it. See about it. Oh, oh we will see. See how chubby we are. <laughs> Probably ought to just keep that shirt on, really, but we'll see. We'll see about it. Oh man. Back when I had 12, oof. Oh. I've never actually thrown my back out, thankfully. I've got a little twingy here and there, but nothing, nothing major, thank goodness. Because that would suck. That would be the pits. But I, I do train fairly conservatively, so I can't train like consistently, right? What's the best way to maintain your first metabolism? Exclamation mark fat loss. Watch that video. That's how it all works. That's how it all works. I, that's a different kind of thing, isn't it, Zero One? <laughs> that's a different kind of thing, isn't it? The phraseology means something different, I think.
Can't say that I have. Thankfully. <laughs> oh man. Pump these bad boys. Can't say that I have.
That was the first thing. Everything else was kind of, I mean, with the bench and stuff and the flooring. And then uh, got the cables later, and now we have all these other little fun toys to use as well. But we have an elliptical over there. I have the uh, leg isolation that we got most recently. It's been great. Love it. Mm. Mm. But the leg isolation has been really fun. I'm gonna put that to good use. I'm put it to use tomorrow, like that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. Where were the, you put the floor mat? Oh, uh, I got it from Tracker Supply Company, the rubber horse mat. It's hard to tell, but sometimes, you know, sometimes it might look that way. I think the uh, 5,000 calories yesterday is helping too with the pump. Mm. With the pump. Mm. It's a little bit, a little bit. <sighs> right lighting on the right day from the right angle. Uh. The shoulders are a huge area of emphasis in terms of things that need to progress, like my weak points, right? So, working on it, man. Working on it. I mean, 5K a day ain't that much, but I feel pretty good yesterday. Pretty good yesterday. I don't think I need to do 5K every day right now, but I guess it'll come about right. Uh, we'll see. I mean, those calories went in really smooth yesterday, so that's good. Want to do pause instead of swing? Uh, because I think these are just where we're at <laughs> right now. I'm just trying to force some activation. Mm. <laughs> Ooh. Definitely keeping things out of control. Trying to at least to, to some extent, right?
And definitely big flex for you. 265, that's a big ball boy. You're gonna get real strong doing that. What's up, Ron? We've got just a few more minutes to pump it. But we're doing it. That's a big ball boy. That's a big boy lifting that big weight. Good job, man. Oh, big old feller. Mm. Keep slamming. Slamming the arm blaster real quick. Wait, my body weight is probably around 210. And the weight that I'm lifting varies, but those were the shoulder things of the 20s. These will be 30s. nice setup and I'm I'm in here every day man trying to express that gratitude with effort that we have the ability to do it you know all right make some gains for those who can't all right. powered up too, man. That's how it goes. Got all the people hanging out there too. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Make sure you follow the stream if you enjoy it. We're here every day. Woo! We gotta get going here pretty soon. So my, my wifey can get her projects rolling for the, the day, but every weekday, we're, I mean, we're in the gym every day. On weekdays, we play games out here, so oh, I'll be playing tomorrow.
Man, backyard nuts. She's doing some work inside right now, but she will be. We do have backyard stuff planned too, yeah. We're not done with that yet. More of that. No, it's almost 10. I mean, it's not, haven't left the morning quite yet. No. Not quite yet. No, oh, no, that's, you know, home gym equipment is pretty pricey in general. Yo, as we wrap up the day though, we gotta give a shout out to our top gifters, Crystal, Forge, Zalvin, and Aurelius, and our top Saiyans for the week, CMQQ, Flasher, and Mikey. It's a big time power one this week, thanks guys. The charts do reset tomorrow, but we got, we got the, the heavy hitters locking the top spots for the week. Shout outs to them for sure. Show big time love. Woo. Oh man, I wanted to just work out all day long, but we do gotta wrap it up, like I said, so Jenny can get some stuff done. Could train all day long. Yeah, tomorrow will be leg day for us. Um, probably hit some front squats for a bit. Uh, probably maybe do some hex bar work just for activation. And then do a ton of uh, leg isolation stuff too. That'll be planned. But thank you everybody for hanging out today. If you enjoy the content, make sure you click that follow button. You can also type exclamation mark social. Yeah, very excited for that kid. That's gonna be a blast. Hopefully you get that set up uh, this week. Coming up, it'll be great. Josh is a cool dude. Oh my gosh, Stingray at the buzzer. Look at the 10 big gifties. Big flex for you and big flex for all 10. Oh, those lovely gifted subs, man. Welcome aboard, guys. Make sure you hit Stingray with the flex for hooking him up, man. Boom! Oh yeah, we got last year Tara locking it down. Oh my gosh, and a, a couple extra too. Big place for is that, is that gonna put Stingray <laughs> sniping the top gifter spot at the buzzer? Oh my goodness, he did indeed. Stingray with the snipe at the buzzer. Thank you, man. Mm. Hit one more little set of shoulders for them, for them fresh subbies. Make sure you guys hit Stingray to flex if you got hooked up with the sub. Stingray's shown us a lot of love over the years, man. This is how you feel. Keeping it rolling for us, man. Thank you, dude. But yeah, tomorrow will probably be leg day, and then we'll probably do a little bit of wowing. Um, but depending on what uh, what Josh's schedule like looks like tomorrow, um, could even get some Tarkov as early as tomorrow and start that. Start that Tarkov grind with Sensei and Josh, OG. Ugh. But yeah, that'll just be fun to play with some, some people that I've looked up to on Twitch for a long time. Ugh. Ugh. Some cool dudes. Oh, man. But it is tense. We got to wrap it up, guys. Shoulders and arms are feeling pretty good. I think we got some good work done. We'll keep working. Josh, OG. Check him out on Twitch. He's a beast. Big FPS guy. It should be a lot of fun when we get to game together, which hopefully will be this week. Looking forward to that. But for now, gotta wrap it up. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for showing up. Thanks for following along. Make sure you guys check out exclamation mark social for all my social medias. Follow along on there. A great way to support the content for free. And we will see you guys tomorrow for uh, some gym time and then games. Appreciate the love. Have a great rest of your weekend. And peace.